Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to make uh, some switches, some LEDs, and kind of compare some resistors. So this is like an introduction to breadboarding and also an introduction to Tinkercad and an introduction to uh, resistors. So once you get logged into Autodesk Tinkercad, hopefully you've got an account um, or you've signed in with your Google you're gonna to go to designs, you're gonna to go to new, and we're gonna do some circuits. All right, so once this thing gets loaded, we're going to need a small breadboard, so I'm gonna grab it and drag it out. We're gonna need a power source, so I'm just gonna to go to search and type in power supply, and grab that. And then I always, power it and ground it first. So there's ground. I also like to make the colors of my wires, um, I don't know, correct, because that's the way I was taught. So ground is black and power or plus is red. So as you can kind of see, I'm doing that. And then I'm going to breadboard or I'm going to wire both sides. So let's get black to black. And I'm going to jump this over and go power to power. Okay, now either either side I use will be um, will be working when I press the start simulation. So we're not plugged anything in yet. Okay, let's grab um, a switch. So there's all kinds of switches in here. Uh, if you go drop that down and go to all, sometimes it's easier to find. Um, and if you know what they're called, dip switch. And then I'm going to put that like somewhere in the middle. Let's go ahead and line it like right up with 15. So you got one B, you got one A, one B, two A, two B. And let's grab a couple LEDs. So you can grab an LED and you can change the color of your LED. Um, go ahead and change it to whatever color you want. Now, I suggest grabbing another LED, but make sure it's the same color as the one on the left. So I've got them both set up. Okay, then what we wanna do is we wanna grab a couple resistors. All right, so I'm gonna grab a resistor here. I'm gonna grab another resistor here. Uh, I think it defaults all the time to 1K, if I'm not mistaken, so 1,000 ohms. Um, on your resistors, you've got your cathode and your anode, so your positive and your negative. So I'm going to run it from the anode down here and jump the gap. I'm going to do the same thing here. So then just on this cathode side, I'm going to make a wire go to ground. And since it's going to ground, I want that to be um, bl a black wire and kind of the same thing there. And on the top, I'm gonna to go into power here. So I gotta change the color there. And I'm gonna go here to here. And so we've got, when I press start, um, when I press start, Start here. Oh, sorry. Let's change this to like 220 ohms. Okay, so I've got that plugged into one. Got it going out, one B, coming around. And Okay, so we've got one light plugged in. I'm changed, I just clicked on the resistor and I changed this to uh, 220 ohms. I hit start, nothing happens, right? Cause then you gotta flip the switch on and nothing happens. Oh, son of a gun, plugged it in the wrong side. So there you go. Okay, so as we can see, I've got 
this uh, resistor plugged into here because these work vertically in my uh, line of sight. And then it comes up here, goes around. And so whenever I turn this on, this is nice and bright. Now let's kind of keep this one at 1K so we can see the difference. So I'm gonna plug that in just like I have this one plugged in. I'm going to bring over a wire here to ground. Boop, boop. And then I'm gonna bring this over to this room right here. That is also power. I'm gonna press start. Um, if your switch is down, your lights aren't going to turn on. So turn your switches up. You can now see the difference and what resistors really do. So this is a 220 ohm resistor. It's pretty bright. This is a 1K resistor. It is uh, quite a bit dimmer or resisting the power to it. Now you can, I believe, change without stopping the simulation, if I'm not correct. So if I do 10K, you can see it get even dimmer. If I change this to just like a 22, uh-oh, we get we get this little um, explanation point and then can I click on it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so if I just kind of hover over the, um, the LED, it'll tell you that we've got some problems and your LED is going to have some problems later on. Um, like, let's see if I just like, do like two. Ah, it blows up. Okay. This is why this software or this is great because you're not blowing up anything. Uh, it costs you nothing and you can easily fix it by just typing in 220, change that to ohms. And now you can see everything's working. Turn it on, turn it off. Um, you also have been working on probably uh, figuring out what these colors do. And as you can see, when you change these numbers, it changes there too. So it can be an extra resource for you. All right, if you're in my class, go ahead and just change this assignment to 1.1.4 resistors and then throw your initials on it uh, just for safekeeping and uh, go ahead and feel free to play add some more um, LEDs to it if you want and uh, change up the resistors see what they do and explore thanks for watching